want to start our fractions unit by asking you to reflect on how fractions make you feel. Is this traumatic feelings or do they make you feel a little bit excited? Most people would probably say that fractions are not their friends. One thing that I like to do in my classroom is introduce fractions with something really fun and novel. So you can see here I've got a full house and invitation to fractions in front of me. This is by Dale Ann Dodds, a really cute story that is very user friendly and really helps them to start thinking about the idea of iterating versus partitioning. And we're not even really using those words yet. So. I always enjoy when I can introduce a complicated topic with something really fun. So here you go, Full House and Invitation to Fractions. Full House and Invitation to Fractions by Dale Ann Dodds. Illustrated by Abby Carter. The Strawberry Inn was run by Miss Bloom. Happy was she to fill every room. With one for herself and five for the guests, there were six rooms in all for a cozy night's rest. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding, dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. I arrest that be my wish, said Sea Captain Duffy, who smelled just like fish. So Sea Captain Duffy, all tired and done, followed Miss Bloom to room number one. Now one room of six had a guest for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding, dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Charmed, I'm sure, said the Duchess Buffet. Smoochy and I are on holiday. So the Duchess Buffet in sapphires of blue followed Miss Bloom to room number two. Now two rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. You can see here that they've got the fraction on the page as well. So I really like to um, help them start seeing the pattern. Two rooms out of six are filled, so two sixths of the rooms are filled. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding, dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Care for a hairbrush, a toothbrush, a comb, or maybe a vacuum, said salesman Jerome. Arms full of shoe polish, pots, pans, and tea, he followed Miss Bloom to room number three. Now three rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. And what fraction is filled up? Three, six, nice job. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding, dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. In town for my show, said trainer P. Klein. From smallest to largest, his dog stood in line. Then trainer P. Klein and doggies galore danced down the hall to room number four. Now four rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding, dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. My biggest race ever, said Johnny Z Power. I hit 210 miles per hour. Carrying his trophy and pleased to arrive, he followed Miss Bloom to room number five. Five rooms of six had guests for the night, filling Miss Bloom with pure delight. Then into the kitchen, Miss Bloom went to make a scrumptious dinner for all to partake. There were chicken and peas, potatoes of gratin, but the very best part Miss Bloom had forgotten. What do you think Miss Bloom forgot? Let's find out. A strawberry cake with whipped cream piled high still sat on the counter when the last dish was dry. Tired and happy, they all went to bed. Miss Bloom in room six, it's a full house, she said. Six over six equals one, six out of six, right? So that is our whole in this case. Our whole house has been filled. The guests and Miss Bloom all called out, good night, plumped up each pillow and turned off each light. But then in the dark came shuffles and wiggles, whispers and mumbles, scuffles and giggles. Shadows were tiptoeing down the long hall, but where were they going, bathrobes and all? Er, slurp, yummy yum. Suddenly, Miss Bloom sat up in bed. Something's not right at my inn, she said. She rushed to the kitchen and turned on the light. There she saw an astonishing sight. Five out of six, and the dogs and the cat stood covered in cake from toe to top hat. Well, said Miss Bloom, and tiddly dee, thank you for saving the last piece for me. What I love about this page is that it really helps us to see that six slices of our cake 
make the whole cake, right? So again, it's the idea of we can think about partitioning with cutting the cake into six pieces, but I can also think about iterating if everybody gave me their piece back and I piece them all together for the cake, I would have six slices of the cake or six out of six would be the whole. I really like this book for showing that difference and really giving students a visual of how that might look. This is one of my favorites for fractions. Highly recommend for your classroom. Got great visuals. Very short too, which is really nice. You can probably read the whole book, unlike some of the other books I talk about. I hope this is one you'll grab for your classroom. I know your future students are gonna love it.